It's time to freak yes, out. Yes. Freak out time starts Panic. now. You're out. You're lost. Mm. You barely beat the Magic. And injuries obviously devastated them. This is a summer of questions in Cleveland. And we have seen Donovan Mitchell play his last game in a Cavaliers uniform. And lost, but I reached out to Donovan Mitchell today. Uh, and he was emphatic in telling me that he is not disgruntled with anyone or anything in Cleveland. Okay. In fact, he said to me, I am happy in Cleveland. Well, the Celtics just gave the Cavs that work in the playoffs, and the Cavs are now eliminated. But now many people within the organization are now wondering if Donovan is going to continue being a member of the team going forward. Especially considering that the man has a player option at the end of the 2026 season and he could possibly leave them with nothing. Teams like the Lakers, the Nets, the Heat, the Heat, whoo, the Heat, whoo, can you imagine the Heat with freaking Spider on the roster? Dude, like, mm. The Heat with Spider would be scarier than my honeymoon, dude. Th that would be the missing piece. But... Mm. Eastern Conference Finals. Look, okay, let's stop glazing the Miami Heat. Uh, a lot of it's true. A lot of it is true. But Donovan recently broke his silence on these trade rumors that's going around, and it got me thinking. No one truly knows what Donovan is going to do or want this summer. Cue the intro, please. Welcome to the Dirty Bucket. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I can't say that enough. Thank you. While many in the NBA community believe that Donovan Mitchell could be on his way out, the widespread rumor is that Mitchell, throughout his two years in Cleveland, was that he would eventually seek a move to the bigger city. The last time he was at the center of the trade rumors, he was linked to his hometown, the New York Knicks. He even admitted himself that he thought that he was going to go to the New York Knicks at the time before shortly being traded to the land of desperation. <laughs> to, to, to Cleveland, to Cleveland. Could you imagine the Knicks if they got freaking Spider, Donovan Mitchell? I, I, mm, I don't know how that combo would work between Donovan Mitchell and Jalen Brunson. Two short kings, okay? And, and we all know short kings don't get along, dude. <laughs> what did you just do? I just pushed a little bitch baby. <laughs> but damn like, like the city would be on fire <laughs> Bing bong. i believe in my opinion brunson is a superstar but adding another superstar to that roster with Thibodeau coaching that defense <laughs> that'd be insane Knicks fans will go crazy they'd all go crazy i mean i'm pretty sure a third of them will impregnate their wives dude like some of them will impregnate the pizza <laughs> they'll impregnate the pizza, you know what I mean? <laughs> they'll, they'll raise a little pineapple slice going forward. All right, let, let, let's move on. What I'm trying to say is putting Spider in New York, I think it would give him that exposure that he very well deserves. He does. After starting off in Utah, then going to Cleveland. But you know what? Let's continue on with this report. And enough with the sex talk. No more sex talk. No. Okay, maybe, maybe later on. <laughs> According to Shams, Shams Sharania, and Jason Lloyd, quote unquote, there is a growing sentiment around the league that the Cavaliers will be able to position themselves to receive his commitment on a long term extension. According to teammates in that same report, Mitchell has been, quote unquote, singularly focused on winning and wanting Cleveland to aim much higher than a first round series victory for its measure of success. Many around the league know that Mitchell wants to go deep into the playoffs and not just be bounced in the first round. There are some ramifications if Mitchell were to stay and commit with the Cleveland Cavaliers in the long term. Should he elect to stay, the Cavaliers may elect to move his twin, twin, Darius Garland. As his agent, Rich Paul said, quote unquote, would have a conversation with Cavs officials on potentially finding a new home for the one-time All-Star in Garland. Garland, who came off a disappointing season in which he averaged only 18 points per game and he put up 11 in the season-ending loss to Boston despite injuries keeping Mitchell, 
Allen and Lavert off the floor. Cleveland can also lose another player, Jared Allen and Evan Mobley. There's also rumors citing that that duo might have to be broken up this summer as well. Head coach JB Bickerstaff. Apparently, his job is in serious jeopardy, quote unquote, because Donovan Mitchell himself did not have great confidence in Bickerstaff and his staff. <laughs> Oh, brother, this guy stinks! There's no doubt that Mitchell is one of the league's top shooting guards. He averaged 26.6 points, 6.1 assists, 5.1 rebounds on 46% shooting from the field in 55 games. Everybody around the league started speculating that Mitchell would be traded. Teams would start calling, be like, hey, is Spider available? Spider available? You know, all that fun stuff. But... The one and only, Brian Windhorst, who hails from Cleveland himself. Brian Windhorst, who is Bronny's babysitter. He, he, I'm pretty sure, dude, Brian Windhorst is an organ donor to the LeBron James family, dude. <laughs> he has to be. <laughs> Look at his driver's license. Him himself came out and said this. He has given no indication that he wants to leave, but he has also been very careful not to commit. The NBA, especially beginning with what Donovan says at the end of the season, is paying very close attention because multiple teams would love to make a huge offer to the Cavs if, the, if Donovan does not, uh, does not choose to extend his contract. And again, it's kind of like a little wishy-washy, wishy-washy, I don't know if that was the right term, in the middle because think about it this way. Cleveland.com, yes, there's a news source called Cleveland.com. Get all your news from Cleveland from Cleveland.com. Fun times in Cleveland again. Still Cleveland. I'm no meteorologist, but I'm pretty sure it's raining bitches. They came out recently with the report right after the Cavaliers got freaking clapped by the Celtics and said that apparently Mitchell was frustrated with his teammates that these teammates weren't that driven. They didn't have that dog in him. It was quite a good accusation, you know, coming from Cleveland.com. But then Spider Mitchell himself came out and refuted it by X. X Twitter, whatever the hell you want to call it. I, I, Mitchell came out and said, yeah, I cap. I'm sick of y'all sometimes. He wrote on X. Yeah, I, I can't do a Donovan Mitchell impersonation, dude. I'm not good with impersonations. But, uh... He pretty much refuted it. In March, the Cavaliers owner, Dan Gilbert, expressed belief that Mitchell would actually sign a contract extension with the team. He said, and I quote, We've been talking to him for sure for the last couple of years about extending that contract. We think he will extend if I think if you listen to him talk, he loves the city. Then again, he also thought that LeBron will never leave in the first place. So I don't know about that. But it is pretty certain that, I guess, Gilbert himself thinks that Spida will not leave Cleveland, that he will sign that max contract because Donovan Mitchell is eligible for a $200 million plus contract from the Cavaliers. So my thoughts on this is, well, you know, who, who cares what I think? <laughs> who cares what I think? I think Mitchell is just waiting it out. I think he's waiting until the playoffs end and seeing how everything else shapes out, seeing which coaches get fired, if his own coach gets fired, which I'm pretty sure he will, Donovan Mitchell has all the leverage. If he tells the Cavaliers, hey, I'm gonna dick around for the next year and I'm gonna go freaking go wherever I wanna go at the end of the 2026 season, and the Cavaliers call him on his bluff and then he leaves for nothing, then the Cavs have been delayed for years in the rebuilding mode because they don't, because they gave up a lot of draft picks to get him in the first place. Which, by the way, are the draft picks that are coming up in the next couple of seasons. So, with that in mind, wouldn't you want to recoup some of those assets that you gave up to get Donovan Mitchell before he leaves you for nothing? I think he wants to see where the rosters are for his potential suitors are at. I think he wants to see what the Lakers want to do. I think he wants to see what the Knicks are going to look like. If the Knicks actually beat the Pacers and they make it to the Eastern Conference Finals, he's gonna think he's gonna want to think is he can he coexist with Jalen Brunson I don't think he's gonna want to go to the Nets he can want to go want to play with the Heat but he wants to see well who are the Heat gonna draft are they gonna make any trades to improve the team besides going after him so he's in wait and see mode he might not get traded until August I, I believe that and correct me if I'm wrong and call me a buffoon in the comments but I believe that's around the time that he got traded to the Cavaliers in August, like it was later in the summer, I believe. 
I don't know, dude. I, I'm on two hours of sleep, dude. I, I'm, I'm not myself right now. <laughs> but um, I think he's going to see all this activity of players switching teams like Paul George, possibly LeBron James. A lot of stars could be on the move this offseason. He might feel some sort of way about that. He's like, why not me? Why would we? And he might join. I think he might see that. All that activity might influence him on him moving. But I also feel like he does love Cleveland. So, I don't know. I, I think right now it's 60-40. 60-40 that he actually leaves. And then 40% that he actually stays in Cleveland. If he decides to stay in Cleveland, he has to say, okay, what did the Cleveland Cavaliers get in return for Darius Garland? Jared Allen? What are going to be the pieces around him going forward? If the Cavaliers don't get a nice return or a player that he doesn't approve of, then why the hell would he want to stay in freaking Cleveland? You know, so it's a lot of factors to involve first, in my dumb opinion, before he actually makes his decision, which is why I think he's probably not going to be traded or he's probably not going to sign a long-term contract extension until late August. But you know what? That's my opinion. Call me a buffoon in the comments. What do you guys think? Do you guys agree with my opinion? If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I can't say that enough. I'll see you on the next report. Peace, y'all.